Sevilla was Europe's gateway to the New World in the 16th century. It flourished during the Age of Discovery. The explorers Christopher Columbus, Ferdinand Magellan, and Amerigo Vespucci all sailed from right here. The Golden Tower was the starting and ending point for trade with the New World. For centuries part of the city's fortifications, it came with a heavy chain draped across the river to protect the harbor. In the 16th century, Sevilla's Golden Age was powered by New World riches. In the 17th century, all that money made the city an important center of arts and culture. In the 18th century, as its harbor silted up and the Spanish Empire crumbled, Sevilla's power faded. And in the 19th century, the once powerful, now quaint Sevilla became an important stop on the Romantic era grand tour of Europe. In the 20th century, 1992 to be exact, Sevilla hosted a World's Fair that left the city with today's striking 21st century infrastructure. Dramatic bridges, a sleek new train system, and even a new airport. Today, with 700,000 people, it's Spain's fourth largest city, an exuberant Andalusian capital. But the charm of Sevilla is best enjoyed in its traditions. Like flamenco, Spaniards consider Andalusia the home of flamenco. While impromptu flamenco still erupts spontaneously in old world bars, most tourists attend a show like this. The men do most of the machine gun footwork. The women concentrate on graceful turns and a smooth, dramatic step. Flamenco guitarists with their lightning fast finger roll strums are among the best in the world. The intricate rhythms are set by castanets and hand clapping. In the raspy voiced wails of the singers, you'll hear echoes of the Muslim call to prayer, an evocative reminder of centuries of Moorish rule. 